Well, I knew this would happen. I got attacked last night. <laughs> oh man, there's several reasons why it could have happened. And here's some of my theories. So look, first of all, let's just explain what happened. Um, so I had a long day yesterday. I got a lot done. Um, I went and bedded down later than normal and I skipped a lot of the energy work that I'd been doing every single day as far I did not I did not connect to the soul star I did a little bit I just did like a really quick one I went up to the soul store star blasted it into it expanded it out pulled that made it into a Taurus with my mind's eye and my intention pulled that down over my body went up again really quick though into the uh stellar blasting in the middle of it i real quick envision like star 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 star, 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 star. like the a, a denseness of stars until i get to the center and it's just this like soup of gold and white that's the center of the the soul the uh stellar gateway for me anyway blast into it pull it back down for some reason this was really weird i ate orange chili peppers in my dinner and I was when I was looking at them I was wondering is this gonna you know how the color is associated with the energy centers the color of food and just colors in general I was like is this gonna affect my sacral in any way it turns out when I went to lay down the first thing I do is take a deep breath and then I just feel where the charge is naturally um, and it was right, my sacral was lit up. It was pulsating. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? That's crazy. Was it the chili peppers? But anyway, um, so I just did like a haphazard, lazy energy work on my body. It took a long time to pull that charge from my sacral down to my root and then in, over into my my sacrum, um, over my coccyx and my sacrum and, and to push it up my spine. When I finally pushed it up into up my spine into my brain it was crazy I started like vibe it felt like vibrating and this is another thing I noticed that when I'm ready to blast off is that I'll have this like strange vibrating sensation in, in my whole body and it will come through and I'll think am I, am I is this external am I really hearing this outside but it's ne it's not it's internal I'm, these vibrational auditory sensations are internal in my body but anyway I blasted off, dude, and I shot out like a fucking gun, landed in my room, but in the lower astral in my room, in a, and it was like shit all over the ground, not feces, but just like clutter, little objects, and I remember looking around, and there was like bullets, and just all kinds of weird little shit, and I, and I just was like, god damn it, really? Like, I was just fed up when it happened. And I immediately started asking for help and guidance. And before I knew it, I was back in my body. Three Dementor-like shadow beings. One holding this side of my body down, my shoulders. One holding this side down. And then one on top of me. I was immediately enraged. I shot the two off my arms up into the ceiling and I spun them like this. And I don't know how to explain it to you, but it's the same It's the same thing I do with psychic surgery. I guess you could call it Reiki, but when you're out of body, this is how you move things. This is, these are your powers. This is telekinesis. I forced them up into the ceiling with my hand chakras and through my heart and my attention and tension, pushed them and I was just angry and I shouldn't have done this. I spun them like this and I just kept spinning them and I said, how dare you? And I just spun, and you can see their little fucking bodies just spinning really fucking fast. <laughs> but this other one was still on top of me, but he was like so close that I couldn't push him off with my hand chakras. It was really crazy. Like he was like, like bear hugging me. And as I was spinning them, I, I was like, I realized this other one was still on top of me. And then I was like trying to go inside of myself to push him off too. And I finally did. I pushed him against the ceiling and I was spinning them. And then I realized, what am I going to do with them? I'm just, I stopped spinning them and I watched them like get all agitated and I could see their bodies really well. And they were creepy as fuck looking. And just like humanoids with like sharp fingertips and and no real defining features, just mostly ashen and shadow. 
Um, and that's, I just said, how dare you? How dare you? And I, and I forced, I pinned them up against the wall really hard, spun them all three, and then threw them out the fucking window. And that's when I shot back into my body and I was just like, really? Like, I thought I was done with this. Like, what, what is the cause of this? What happened? Why is this happening again? What is it? Is it because I didn't fully do the proper energy work? I didn't fully cycle the massive charge. Is that why I haphazardly, lazily activated my light body and my third eye? And it, sh and also I was having a lot of negative energy before bed. There were people, negative people in my life that kind of threw some thought forms into my field. And then I also was talking with a friend online. She was experiencing attacks and I was trying, I, I was, trying to empathize with her about that and so that might have thrown some stuff into my field so I think it was the haphazard activation which is why spiritual awakenings are so dangerous if you activate these six senses these spiritual powers and you're experiencing a lot of trauma and negative shit in your life you can be thrown into some really scary situations multi-dimensionally interdimensionally so I think it was the haphazard activation. It was the the negative external influences, and then also, I was really aggressive and pissed off all weekend, but in a in a positive way. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, I thought, ooh, I ascended to a new level. No more attacks for me. No more lower astral ever again. But it turns out we're all susceptible. And like I tell you guys, often we can ride that full spectrum of, you know, we're, we're flawed emotional beings. We can ride the full spectrum. And that's what makes us so fucking powerful. I can go from the lower astral to the fucking causal and above. It just depends, okay, where I'm vibrating. And last night I was not vibrating so high, <laughs> but that's okay. And I also had another realization is that this is how you learn. This is how you, you have to dive into the darkness to get the wisdom, to, to search through the dark, to find the little pieces of light and to pull them together into you. Pull in that plasma intelligence. Plasma is intelligent, man. It's, it's self-aware. It wants to collect more of itself, you know? So that's all we are is the attention, the mind going out into the darkness and then the intention, the heart following and they just like work as a feedback loop collecting information and that's that's why the dark is so essential too it's in the darkness we find the experience and the wisdom and grow even more we're able to connect more light in with into the dark but uh i just wanted to share that real quick um <laughs> i'm gonna just be so much more mindful and I will say after I got pissed and I was in my body and I was like why I had the most amazing prayer and I did a ritual and I invoked the violet flame and I created a giant violet flaming circle in my room around my bed and around me and it was insane I was in my body 3d but my my vision was so violet it was like blinding me in the dark and while I was conjuring the violet flame and I, I'm going to do an extremely powerful ritual tonight with Sage and with uh, Palo Santo. And uh, I'm going to get some chalk and I'm going to actually draw a circle. I mean, I'm going to draw magic circles like I told you I would in my previous videos. But uh, yeah, just being fully transparent with you, being honest. I hope someone got something out of my vulnerability i all i want is for you all to grow and to heal and to be happy but sometimes that takes delving into the shadow to do so so i love you all so much um stay fractal baby and stay up i'm str i'm trying to slowly change from stay up to stay fractal but i can't i always want to say stay up baby <laughs> it's my favorite stay up stay fractal i love you all